Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and we have a new Humble Bundle of interest to game developers and it seems like we've got a Humble Bundle redesign in general, which I don't like, uh, but we'll get to that in just a minute. First off, about this new bundle, it is the Learn Coding to Build Games 2021 Software Bundle. And that part's confusing. Humble are adding the Software Bundle to the end because this is not software. This is a collection of courseware from Zenva Academy, but we have a really good swath of technologies covered here. If you're looking for a specific genre of game development courses, you're going to probably find what you're looking for here. The major engines are Hit, Unreal, Unity, and Godot are really heavily featured in this bundle. So if you are looking for courseware from Zenva, this could be a good pickup for you. Now, here we are at Humble. Uh, now, this bundle is going to be a little bit difficult for me to break down to you because of this new redesign. Humble bundles are broken into tiers. You have the 26 item tier, the 15 tier, and the 5 item tier. This used to be basically the $1, the $15, the $25, and it still is. The problem is you can only see all of the above, the mid tier and the bottom tier. So it's no longer easy for me to break down what is actually included uh, at each individual tier level. So I'm going to start and I'll show you the entry level tier because first off, it's really interesting what you get for a buck. Uh, and then second, because trying to figure out what you're getting in the middle tier versus the full tier is really confusing. I do not like this new site design. However, there is one nice thing to talk about. One of the things Humble Bundle did is they took away the ability to specify how your money was allocated, which was hideous. And basically the way it used to work before, you can decide how your money is allocated between Humble, between charity, between the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, to support Game From Scratch. Now, what they did is they took it away and they used fixed amounts for each value. Well, they heard from the community that they didn't like this, and they've added in this adjust donations button right there. So that functionality is still there. You can come here to custom amount and pick who gets what. If you use my link, you can pick to have some of your money go to support Game From Scratch, which by the way, thank you very much. All right, so back to the bundle. This is a collection of courses from Zenva. Zenva has been featured in a number of Humble Bundles in the past, so do be making sure that you've already checked your, your library, that you don't already own the courses that you are most interested in. A number of these courses have only been in this bundle, and this bundle is basically 100% game development, which is cool. None of the, you know, React or JavaScript or various different other courses there. Everything here is game development related, and we're going to see some really niche subjects like Inkscape and GIMP photo, um, pixel art, and so on like that. But at the $1 tier here, what we are getting is uh, developer Develop a 3D action RPG with Godot, mobile game development for beginners with Unity, uh, game development coding for kids, which is using Unity, by the way, uh, create a platforming game in Unreal Engine, and learn Python uh, and Pi game by making a game. So you're getting uh, an introduction to Godot, Unity, Unreal Engine, Python, and just general coding for kids. Very interesting tier at the $1 tier. I'd like to see genuinely useful stuff, and it's all introductory level courses. I'll show you how Zenva courses work in just a minute, by the way. Um, then we have the middling tier. I can't really break down what's in it. it. It's so confusing with the way that they've set this back up. So instead, I'm going to just jump to the full fat tier. But you can come in here, look for yourself, see if the courses you are most interested in are at that middling tier. That middling tier is about $14 US, whereas the full tier, this includes all of the items in the bundle. That is $30 Canadian or $25 USD. So this is everything in this, everything in this, and then everything in the top tier included there. Again, I do not like this new layout. It's very confusing from doing this kind of videos, but uh, hopefully it will make sense to you. So what we've got at the full tier, and we're going to have, again, repetition from what you got at the freebie tier. I'll try to skip over them if I notice it. Uh, you're getting the Unity 2D Project Worm Attack, uh, develop a technology tree for strategy games. Again, that one's Unity. Uh, Azure Play Lab leaderboards. Again, Unity. Uh, mobile in-app uh, purchases for mobile games. Unity. Data-driven development. Unity analytics. Unity, obviously. Uh, game audio effects. Unity. Uh, we got pixel art with GIMP for beginners. We've got the AR Projects job training app, hand grabbing controllers in virtual reality. These don't say, but I believe these are actually Unity courses as well. Yeah, it's Unity. So you can see, by the way, any of these things you can... Uh, uh, click on dig down for more details and then we're getting back to Unreal Engine so we've got make a puzzle game in Unreal Engine construct an arcade game in Unreal Engine develop a city building game with Unity publishing and optimizing mobile games Unity uh, Unity 2D Toads and Fireflies bite-sized strategy game development uh, develop a reusable quiz system, creating vector game artwork with Inkscape, magic of voxel for beginners, create voxel game assets, develop a first person shooter in Unreal Engine, develop a first person shooter with Godot, uh, develop Godot, bite sized Godot game development. Uh, develop a 3D action RPG with Godot, uh, mobile game development for uh, Unity, game development coding for, okay, so that's repeat, 
repeat and oh no uh create a platform game in unreal engine and then again the repeat from the beginning tier so again back to humble i don't like this new structure but it is nice to see that they they walked back on the idiocy of changing the donation aspect and this one basically the way it works is you get a, a code that you redeem on zenva you need to create a zenva account but you can just log in using your google which is what i have done uh here you can see again i own a number of these courses already uh so the way courses work so for example you want to get into first person shooter with godot uh, that is one of the courses here. Here you can see how it's set up. It's basically a series of uh, video instruction as you go forward. So click there. It opens up in their particular player. Uh, you can see down here, we've got uh, support lock in, so you can go in and ask questions. Uh, if there are notes or course files, they're available here. So you got, you know, text-based breakdowns and, and access to the source code of what they're working on in that particular section. They have a really nicely set up site for sure. You could jump between the lessons available over here. There is uh, persistence in that, you know, if you come back to the site, you could jump back in. Uh, a new feature that they've added is a live coding feature. So you can actually follow along as you're working on things. Uh, and that's kind of how it works. Uh, a lot of times you will find uh, there are downloads available for individual courses, such as PDF text-based versions of things, the files that you are using and the various different assets that you are using. And again, there is, uh, well, so that's for subscription. So that may not actually be for you in this particular case. Uh, so uh, you do get all the courseware available there. Um, yeah, so that's, that's Zenva. Uh, whoa, what the heck did they call this thing again? Learn Coding to Build Games 2021. Again, there is a good collection of stuff in here. Uh, obviously, the, the major engines being covered here are Unity, Unreal, and the Godot engine. We've got about four courses for Godot, about four or five for uh, Unreal Engine, and then probably about eight or nine for Unity. Uh, plus, we got a couple of like oddball ones in here, such as GIMP um, and Vector Graphics using Inkscape and Magic of Voxel. Those are interesting to see. Uh, one thing I find kind of shockingly missing, the only topic I would have thought I would see in here somewhere is Blender. But otherwise, uh, you got all, if you're into any of those three engines, probably a course in here for you. Again, if you like Zenzov's course, it, it's it's mixed. Some people really like them. Some people are not so much. It's from previous comments. Again, I will ask the question to you guys. What do you think of Zen of courses? Have you run through them in the past? Um, I like the subjects that they're covering. Also, uh, sort of a side note question to you. What do you think of the redesigned Humble? I can see this. This is nice in terms of as an end user. I, I you know, it, it's definitely um, a nice breakdown. The only problem is you're just my only complaint, to be honest, on this, now that they've backed out of the stupid donations thing, is it's really difficult to actually distinguish what the difference is between tiers. Uh, that's the only thing that I would change. I, I would like to have just one more, put one more link in here, and it broke it down by tiers, and it organized it like it used to be, and I would be happy. But I'm curious, do you like the redesigned Humble site, or do you like it the way it was before? Now, a lot of times, we're just hooked on the old way of doing things, and I'm guilty of that all the time, too. But for doing a video like this, trying to break down what you get in this middle tier is a nightmare, because I would basically have to go through a one-by-one, one, just subtract out, so there are uh, 11... 11 items here that uh, I need to figure out basically one by one if it's in here or not. And that that's kind of ugly. So I'd just love to have one more tier, but I'm curious to hear what you guys think of that as well. But that is it. The Learn Coding to Build Games 2021 bundle, a collection of courses from Zenva. Once again, do be sure to check that you don't already own the courses because again, what you saw here over here, this uh, My Courses section of Zenva, uh, this is all from previous bundles. So... Oops. Now, why are you not navigating back? Come on. Come on. Hmm. I don't know what's going on there. But anyways, everything you're seeing in my courses, this was from previous acquisitions. Uh, so do be sure. Check out. Make sure that you don't already own the courses that you are most interested. Okay, I made it very unhappy. Uh, make sure that you don't already own the courses that you are most interested in uh, before continuing. So uh, let me click there now. I think we're going to be a little bit happier. Something is definitely un unhappy on my computer right now. Uh, but do sure, be sure to check out. Make sure you don't already own the courses that you're interested in. As you're going to see, a lot of the stuff that uh, is in this bundle, I already own from uh, previous bundles. But uh, again, I'm a digital hoarder, so I have tons of stuff. But I am a little shocked that the Blender course didn't make it in there. That's the only thing really missing from a comprehensive game development setup. Uh, but 
nice broad spectrum of topics covered here. And I'd be interested to know what you think of this bundle in the end. Comments down below. Talk to you all later and goodbye.